get started here in heat number six. Jacob Wilcox used to saying that he's a, a wild card, but this is a full-time rookie on tour these days. He did have a quarter final out here when he was a wild card. But now he's really trying to make it count to feel more comfortable with that mid-season cut approaching. Happy to be back in Oz. Griff's up and riding. He's got a nice flow state right now, Griff. Cool, look, an arc to cover some ground. Throws down a nice wrapping cutback. Another quick fade for world number one. And now rushing that end section. He slams it and stays on his feet. Cola Pinto on the board. Also just feeling 100% as we look at his opening ride again. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing worse than coming into an event and uh, carrying an injury. So nice to see. He's just silky smooth, carrying that yellow jersey and looking like he's in form, really. His feet looks like they're really in the wax, looking connected. And, yeah, coming through to the inside there. Solid finish. And by today's standards, I mean, we've seen some pretty slower heats in the last couple. So I think this is a good move, just bringing this one through to the inside, finishing off. Probably going to be that mid-range sort of score. And good backup already love how much wall you have out here flick and and what's the secret secret to success on a wave like this i think it's tempo and i think it's pace i think i think it's the moments between the turns that really make the wave look really good it's the di and i guess the moments between the turn that style right and you think about the surfers that are your favorite to watch out here i mean i look back in time and I Joel comes to mind as one of my favorite but I really think it's an age thing you know every year we just see Griff come back and he's refined his approach more and more here comes Tully Wiley local boy in his second start as a wild card representing everybody at Bell's big whip there 87 kilos about 191 pounds of strength for the backhander now Tully will light up this end section and get everybody on their feet especially the rip curl crew his father's worked for rip curl for about two decades as a general manager for sure i mean my favorite story about that is uh, adam robbo i just think back to the year when he made it all the way through to that final that was so incredible to watch really like tully style it's really unique and it's something we don't really get to see too much of these days lots of people end up looking very similar but he's got that really unique sort of arm throw on his backhand when he goes up to hit the lip you really get to see it here on that end section it's a nice wave from tully got a good finish on there but we'll get back to this because we had an important ride here for jacob wilcox during the interview yeah this this was a good wave too this was this wave stood up really good little read on that section there that's a really difficult section to turn on kind of helps being on your backhand there he had the ability to really pivot super tight in the pocket sort of sticking with this one knowing he's only got that one wave on the board he needs to get a finish here at the end and he doesn't want to fall so he gets like a nice tight turn there wave still giving him a little bit more there that section was super tricky to deal with but got the finish you're watching the opening round of the rip curl pro bells beach presented by bon soy bright yellow jersey of world number one griffin cola pinto setting up his first turn nice tracking down carve smooth in transition into another wrapping cutback and now griff sets the rail that surfboard shaped by matt biolis to now stretch out this inside section off the bottom and off the top hill Create some space to kick out. Well read Wade for Griff, who only needed a 2.41 to move into the top two. This was a great wave and very important at this time in the heat. He was obviously sitting down there in third. He only needed a 2.4. He's definitely done that. But yeah, great pace to the wave. Great read. You can really see that he's slowed his surfing down. He's really waiting for that section to present itself. And finishes so strong there he didn't want to fall i reckon it's going to be the best wave of the heat so far just really well surfed and for me it was all about the pace you could i could just see that he's slowing his surfing down here it was just really noticeable and yeah just not over surfing it and just making sure that uh he put that nail in the coffin so smooth with all of his power turns and i think the judges always recognize that complete flow from start to finish they don't really enjoy when you have to chase sections or you pick up your rail. It's always nice when it's just one fluid transition. Talk bells, still rips, charges. 2.30 on the clock, rolling into this one. Off the bottom, Tully Wiley. 
getting a little bit stuck. Can he recover? Section, he'll throw that vert climb to transition into an open wall. Picks up the rail again as he's looking for another big major, winds up and hits the lip again. Tolly makes it. Get to break it down right now. Goes up into this first turn. You can see that he just had to sort of two-stage that there. He couldn't keep that rail all on board. It almost looked like, I was like, okay, he's two-staged the first turn. Is this going to, you know, generally, if you got, don't get that first turn right, the pace of the rest of the wave doesn't quite flow, but he ended up pulling it off, and they were too clean a backhand. They have a direct comparison, because Wilcox already has a 4.67 that they can compare it to. Here comes Jacob now, the rookie on tour from WA. 22nd in the world, sitting right on the cut. Wants to avoid the elimination round. And he definitely would have heard some hoots from everyone on the stairs back in the local wild card as Wilcox winds up, hacks the finish, and steps off. Wilcox, wow. last wave of four, didn't even factor in. But he's safe in second. Moving to the round of 32. And world number one, Griffin Colapinto. Flexes that yellow jersey, 6-5 and a 5-5. Nice pace performance from the Californian to be reseeded well into the round of 32.